Well, it's time to start the BTS vlog for October 24th. It is now 4 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Uh, been working for two hours already. Uh, basically, I finished off the, uh, the uh, BTS vlog for yesterday and in terms of doing the last segment. This is the first segment of the vlog. And I'm going to be introducing some changes. Uh, every once in a while we do the, we do have these changes and the changes are is that um, uh, that there is often more than one project here uh, rather than being uh, just a single project there's more than one project and I said I break these projects up into smaller projects so this is sort of how uh, with the BTS vlog taking the shape the way they are now with multiple segments is easier to roll in a lot more of the uh, products than I did before, so you'll be able to see more of what I more of what I do during the day. And that's actually what's going to be happening here is I'm going to be readjusting the format of uh, the BTS vlog so that you can actually be seeing more of what I'm doing rather than seeing less. And so that's what's happening is we were we're finished up the uh, you'll notice that the change there'll be a change in the title. Uh, it will no longer be a Tesla project. We're more or less finished with the main introduction to the Tesla project. So Tesla project will actually move into the main schedule uh, rather than being something special. You need part of the average workday. And what you'll see is that the things that are being worked on in the average workday, although not necessar necessarily referred to in the video, uh, will be um, dealt with with a hashtag. You'll see, you'll see, if, you look at the, if you look at the description of the video, you'll see there's a row of hashtags. Uh, of hashtag, uh, uh, yeah, a row of hashtags. Uh, it's going to be one or two rows of hashtags. Uh, well, most hashtags refer to the various different things that, that could be in the video or, or, or discussed a little bit or talked about more in depth. Uh, in other words, although we can't, we're not titling the, uh, the, uh, the BTS vlog that, uh, of that particular hashtag, it just means that, that that hashtag now is now something more part of the uh, BTS vlogs, part of an integral part, an integral part of, of BTS vlogs. So uh, it's no longer necessary to title it anymore. Uh, and so you'll see the uh, the new um, title for this will be uh, Pieces of the Puzzle uh, number one. And it will introduce you to the whole concept of uh, splitting up research projects, putting up studying projects into multiple pieces, multiple projects, smaller chunks, smaller segments, so that you can deal with the project easier. Uh, and that's what I do here. They talk about this in school, about, about really managing your time. And a lot of times if you have a project, you need to break that project up into smaller projects so that you can parse it out, you can sort of set, schedule it out, what, what, what needs to be done when, when, so that by the time you get to the end of the last segment, the last uh, pro small product that you made, uh, you can get, you'll have all the project done. Uh, being done here, uh, we are sort of breaking this up into smaller projects and into smaller segments from there on out. So, uh, it, this is how you get a, a, a lot of the work done. I'll give an example of one of the things I did and I was working on and how they can, you, you can actually uh, work on a segment of a project and that one segment will uh, apply to a variety of other different projects. One of the problems I've been having here on the uh, computer uh, and particularly on the Linux network was dealing with uh, streaming videos across the network particularly when you don't want to do video on demand or or streaming you want to just uh, go across to a shared hard drive or to a file server uh, pick out a video but you don't want to copy the video to your to your um, to your uh, your workstation but you just want to sort of view the video there uh, and what happens a lot of the video players will say oops sorry can't can't uh, can't play that file, is you, you can only use select local files. And I really couldn't figure out what was going on for the longest period of time. And so I, I went to the message boards, and message board boards really weren't really a help as to what was going on. And I began to, so I said, let me just try something new, and I tried something new, just a little bit of fiddling around. 
And what I did is I went to the file manager and opened up the video uh, from the file manager uh, with a, with the with the uh, play, the, the uh, media player called VLC. And this is and it, this was sort of common across all the, the media players. Uh, it didn't matter what I had VLC uh, uh, M player, uh, Totem, or Caffeine. Any of the players that were on here weren't playing videos across the network. So I did that. I went to the Dolphin, opened up the video from the, they assigned it to open with uh, uh, VLC, and lo and behold, it opened. But I, what I did is I stopped the video. I paused it. And I wanted to take a look at how the uh, video was being seen by VLC, by the media player. And when I did that, what I found out was that the, the, the media player had seen the address of the video in a different fashion than when you were in VLC itself and you called and you went to call the video. There were two different calls to that to, to that URL to that to the to the resource location, uh, and because of that difference, one didn't work. And so I realized that you know what. Well, we got a solution here to uh, bring videos across the network, viewing videos across the network. But not only do we have a, 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 a solution to this particular problem here on, on Linux, uh, it resolved a problem that was also on, um, on the uh, IPTV for Android. But more importantly, this is where the segment, where, where the segment is going to have multiple issues. This is something that I'm going to bring to you about to BST and SXTub because there are so many people asking questions about this in in the um, uh, in the forums, uh, but it's never addressed properly. It, it, no one actually goes into why this different thing isn't isn't working properly, and it has to do with how uh, the media players parse and sort of figure out where. Uh, the uh, video is, and so when the media, when the media players figure out where the where the uh, the video is, it comes up with the wrong address, and so it says, "Oops, sorry, can't select that video." When you do it through Dolphin or any other file manager, it gives you the correct URL, the correct address, and it, there you go. So that's the whole thing there, and so that gives me uh, a one one segment will will provide me with a solution for. A variety of different projects and so this is how we're going to deal with things how we're going to deal with different uh, projects and I'll talk more about projects in the next segment all right see you in the next segment Ready? it's uh, eight o'clock in the morning and I'm back for another segment uh, as I said before what we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be break we I, what we're doing is I'm gonna be trying to bring in more projects that were done that are being done here uh, because, as like I said, we don't just do one project. We take a project, particularly a larger project, break it up into smaller sub-project, and, and then again into segments. So, on any given day, we're working on, um, I'm working on, or we, as, as myself and Cyborg Alpha, are working on multiple projects during the day. So it's not just simply that we're working only on Project Tesla or only on this project or that project. We work on a variety of different projects together. Another time, and, 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 and also, <clears throat> and in many ways, uh, when we work on a segment, uh, that's how we work on multiple projects at the exact same time. Because a lot of these, I break the break down the projects into segments that have commonalities between multiple multiple different projects, so that when I'm working on a segment, I can work on all these other projects at the same time in terms of dealing with the aspect that involves with that 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 segment deals with. So maybe it's a network segment, a network issue that I'm working on, or it's uh, something on. Uh, well. Let me go back for a bit. If I'm working on a ne network problem, right, or a ne network issue, or a network segment that that's a, the, that's a a product that I'm working on, the network thing, the network product will affect the IPTV above. It will affect Cyborg Alpha Mu. It affects the research desk. It affects uh, how I store the uh, data and information on uh, Project Tesla. It, it affects the library. It affects a lot of different things. Uh, uh, along down the road, and the thing is, you, when you work on these segments, you work on the segments with the with the uh, idea in mind that you are uh, that you not that you are that you do have these other projects that 
are dependent on and can be benefited by whatever you're doing in that segment. So uh, th you'll see that coming up more and what we'll be doing, talking about the first project uh, that, that's coming up today, that we're working on today as well, is the university. Every research, every research institute uh, either is associated with or starts a, a university. Uh, my specific, specific thing, because uh, my research institute was so different from everybody else's, uh, I decided to start a brand new university. Uh, I decided to, to base that university off the internet and uh, sort of create uh, a really... Uh, Internet-based university is not that, that, that it's not, not simply distance learning. It's not that you uh, log into a place and you're sitting sitting there stuck with classes. It, it's significantly more than that. Uh, I'll give you an example: is if you wanted to study Spanish, you wouldn't sit in a classroom and log in and study Spanish. You would, instead of spending X amount of dollars on tuition, you would spend uh, that amount of money that you would spend in, uh, in tuition. You would go to Spain, you'd get an apartment in Spain with uh, 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 internet access and your laptop, and you would study Spanish in Spain. Same thing, if you want to study French, you go to France. You want to study, you know, you want to study uh, South American culture, you go to South America. And in other words, you don't study simply from the textbook, you study from uh, the environment as well. In other words, uh, you immerse yourself in the thing that you want to study. So that not only do you have the textbooks, do you have your, your essays and whatever you want to do with it, but you're there in the environment so that you can also benefit from the environment itself, the, the things that the environment has to teach you. And that is, that, that is something that a lot of people really don't understand, that, is that you cannot separate experience from academics. The West tries to do that. It says, that oh, you don't need the experience to do academics. You can conceptually understand things. And that's not necessarily, that's not necessarily, the conceptual understanding of things is so minimal compared to what you have with experience. Where you, if you marry, if you really have your academics mired and influenced and spiced by experience, it is a fundamental difference if your concepts are simply conceptual and have no basis and bearing in reality whatsoever. And this is the problem with a lot of academics. You wonder why academics are so, you know, clueless about things that are going on in the world. And that's because they are clueless. And it's not that they can't, they, they, they can't be aware of what's going on. They don't want to. They feel themselves as to be above the rest of us. And so they separate themselves from the average environment and insist that their ideas, their concepts, with no bearing on the reality, is the right thing to do uh, and the right way to think. So, and because most universities are based on this thought, my uh, and most research institutes are based on this thought, uh, my uh, inclination was, let's go back, recreate the university, and bring uh, experience back into academics, just the way it was back in ancient Greece. If you went to, to an ancient university, or which was an e which were basically Eastern universities, Eastern philosophy is not. Uh, disconnected from experience. There is a lot of experience involved in Eastern philosophy. You cannot separate experience from the philosophy. You cannot separate experience from the academics in the Eastern understanding. And this is what I'm bringing back again. And uh, what I'm just working on now, the project that, are, that, that, that will be done this week, is uh, I'm redoing my website and the two sections that I'm working on now, so again, bring it, breaking it down to uh, segments, is uh, I'm working on the admissions and campus portals, basically on Google and Facebook. So that's where I'm, where I'm going today. That's the thing I'm working on. Uh, we'll see how much I get done today. And the next thing on the list would be to work on uh, the TV channel for the university uh, and maybe roll some of it into Cyborg Alpha TV. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do yet. It's just a matter of getting down and, and doing it. Anyways, um, I'm going to go food shopping a little later on. So uh, when I talk to you again, I'll probably, it will probably be out after food shopping. So... Uh, and I'll, it's during the day now, so I'll probably take you with me. All right. Take it easy. Bye-bye. There we go. Walking out the door.
Well, we're going food shopping again. And once again, I'm taking along with me. What I found out is that people, and this is the hard part about vlogging, people don't always want to be filmed. And they have some very serious issues if they're being filmed and if they show up on YouTube. So this is part of the issue with vlogging. Vlogging is that uh, you don't know, you don't always know if someone's going to be happy with you vlogging or not. There are people out there with a lot of fears. They see you vlogging and it initiates these fears and well things aren't so pleasant afterwards <laughs> anyways i have two places to go i'm going to go in that department store and then the tnt so i will see you once again at the department store well i'm at the mall again and i'm going to the department store I should be there in a few minutes walking. This is what it looks like during the day. The unusual thing about walking is that sometimes you don't always feel like walking. But if that's your only means of getting around, there's very simply no other choice. So, this is kind of the situation that I'm in. Is that uh, I have no options to walk no matter how I'm feeling. I'm still feeling the fatigue from uh, not sleeping. And that's sort of the biggest issue. The question is, just how crippling is it? And there's a bit of wind here, so I don't know how this is gonna come out. But we'll see once we get into everything. getting to vlog for some reason it just kind of slips my mind and uh, away you go so I went into TNT got some a lot of food I got some stuff on sale from shoppers drug warrant and then I went into the store called Neo home there uh, and got some stuff in there so now I'm walking back to my place so I gotta walk all the way down there and uh, and then on home. I have a massive load on my back, so this should be interesting. Uh, 6 15 uh, a.m. on October 25th and we're now going to do our last segment I thought I was going to do this segment earlier but uh, things kind of got away from me uh, I went food shopping as I stated and then uh, there was a lot of good stuff out there to buy and that ended up filling up my backpack and basically when I walked home the pack was about 80 pounds on my back uh, so uh, when I got back, needless to say, I was completely exhausted and uh, what it did is it knocked off my adrenaline to the point where I ended up going to sleep and uh, basically uh, I ended up spending most of the time in crash mode. Well, well not most of the time. <laughs> I thought it was most of the time, but it wasn't actually most of the time. 
Uh, here's how it worked. I got back by one. Th I got back and finished unpacking and having something to eat by 1:30. So I went to bed at 1:30. Uh, got up at six to do some work and go to dinner with my parents. And then at 9:30, 10, went back to bed. And about an hour ago, around five o'clock, I got up uh, and started working again. So that's how things have gone. Uh, there is two shipments coming in today. My lag time is going to be shortened because one of the shipments that was supposed to be coming in on October 30th is actually coming in today. I just got a notification that it's coming in today. So that means uh, my lag time will cut, be cut short to today. And that means Monday in the weekend, uh, things will start picking up again. And you'll start seeing more work, more production going on. One of the things I've sort of been pushing off because uh, I didn't have enough time to put them into the, to, to the uh, segments, uh, the previous segments, is uh, you'll start noticing adjustments to the uh, Cyborg Alpha TV playlists. Uh, I'm adjusting this uh, to move more into the uh, TV channel mode. Uh, and to do this, what I've done is I've moved off the show the previous parts of the show uh, for uh, Big, Big Bang Theory RL, the BBT RL, I've moved that off into a playlist, a sort of like a, because it is, this is, this is what a, uh, the, the playlist, the, the doing a vlog is a log. It's like you know, on Star Trek when you're, you know, you have Captain Kirk or, or, or uh, uh, Captain Jean-Luc Picard uh, talking to his log. Well, this is kind of the same thing here. I'm a researcher exploring the universe, and uh, this is my log. And so, everything I've done up until the point where uh, Cyborg Alpha TV began is now into the log. And that's but that's about three or four playlists, and you can go look for everything. It's sort of a history of uh, what I've done up until now uh, in there. So, in other words, you can track how this channel evolved and where we came from and so on and so forth and in other words you'll be able to see the work I'm doing fully online without any in sort of uh, interruptions or uh, um. anyways <laughs> my thought is gone um, but the other thing that's going to start coming up to today and tomorrow will be, uh, I'll be bringing back uh, the Insta Vlogs, that's the research notes uh, we left, that we're working in on uh, quantum psychology, so you should expect the uh, Insta Vlog for quantum psychology up sometime today or tomorrow. Uh, as well, uh, I've uh, begun shooting, and I should finish it today, the uh, episode, the 43rd episode for uh, uh, Beauty and the Geek, that should be up sometime today or tomorrow. Uh, things are starting to move ahead a lot faster, so uh, look for those things, and uh, I'll let you know what's been going on, how, how the day is going to go, uh, because I do have to wait for the for the delivery people, and that's going to be uh, probably till 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, uh, so I'll get back to you probably around 9, 10, or between 8 and 10 o'clock in the morning, I'll get back to you and let you know how things are going. Anyways, that's it for this uh, BTS vlog, I will see you in the next BTS vlog. Uh, around 8 or no, between 8 and 10 o'clock this morning. So, all right. Take it easy.